Hello, church, and welcome to this week's episode of the Unveiled Podcast, where we deep dive into different scriptures. Pick and, one. Yeah, pick <laughs> one. Today was, we've already been kind of talking about it a little bit, and this is going to be some interesting mm-hmm. stuff. So welcome to the Unveiled Podcast. So the scripture that we are looking at today, if you'd like to read along in your Bible, is Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Do you want to read first? Or you want me to read? I'll read first. Okay. Okay, so we're in, again, Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. Mm-hmm. And um, it says here, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Interesting. Okay, so I have the New Living Translation and you have? NRSV, New Revised Standard Version. Perfect. So mine says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Those Mm -hmm. are the same. Mm -hmm. Then mine says, test me and know my anxious thoughts. Ooh. Point out anything in me that offends you. Okay. And lead me along the path of everlasting life. Mm-hmm. So I am really glad that you have that version because when I was doing my verse mapping this morning, I did New King James Version, of course, the New Living Translation, and CSB is Christian Standard Bible, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. And so they all kind of had different things. Um, NKJV had wicked, like mm-hmm. yours had wicked, wicked, but I thought it was so interesting that yours doesn't have anything in front of thoughts, does it? No, it doesn't. No, my thoughts. Know mm-hmm. my thoughts, all of my thoughts. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I really like that. And then yours said wicked, mine says offend. Mm-hmm. So and then there was another some... I did some I did some quick mapping. Yeah. And I don't I'm sorry, I don't remember which version it came from, but I got offensive uh-huh. and then I got sorrow. Yes. Talk and, a little bit about that. Well, and I think when you look at this and it's like going, okay, is there any sorrow in me? is different than wicked because wicked is like i'm not a wicked person yeah. i'm i'm am i perfect no but i'm not wicked i'm mm-hmm. not that horrible horrible person right so why do i need to pray and this is a prayer mm-hmm. that david gave to god and it's like no my wicked ways no i'm not a wicked person right and then offensive okay i can be offensive when mm-hmm. i don't check myself right okay but for me it hit differently sorrow right because like you were saying earlier when we're a hurt person we hurt people so what is in me that i need to deal with right so that i don't it doesn't trigger me when somebody else is dealing with it yes yes and that's a really good way to look at Mm -hmm. it because i think when you see the word wicked yeah we have a tendency speaking for myself Mm -hmm. to go yeah i'm not wicked Mm -hmm. like I try and love my neighbor and I mm-hmm. do this and da da da. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's a spectrum, right? Like yeah. we have sorrow can be a part mm-hmm. of wickedness, can be a part of offensive. Mm-hmm. So it's like I can be offensive, but am I really wicked? Yeah. But if you go back and you look at it in sorrow, yeah, yeah. There are some things that we can all deal with. Well, and knowing this is from David, um, King David, who was righteous and was trying to do everything for God, but right. he screwed up. We all do. And he so here this is David is saying this. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Because we always, there's so many Bible verses and Bible studies out there is the heart of David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're always wanting the heart of David. Test me and know my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's hard enough. Yes. It's hard enough to go, okay, God, yes, you're God and you know my thoughts, but I want you to know them more and test me. Mm -hmm. Are I really, are these really my thoughts or are they somebody else's thoughts? Yeah. And then David comes in and says, see if there is any wicked is there any sorrow is there any offensive way in me and lead me to the way of everlasting yes it takes on a different way for you to do this but again we i love psalm 139 psalm 139 is my psalm Mm -hmm. i love this i've always loved it um fearfully and wonderfully made just this is my thing but do we as christians really pray this we read it but do we use it as a prayer but do we use it as a prayer yes that's the hard part because when we came in i said ot i picked this scripture 
And I was like, this is going to be so great. And then I really sat with it and went, oh, man, I don't know if I picked the right one. Because almost all the translations are pretty much saying the same thing. Yes, there's going to be a different word. But right. sometimes when you do a Bible mapping, you find, oh, oh, that makes more sense. Right. Oh, that's different. They're pretty much all the same thing. Well, and, yeah, I, I mean, it's almost this, like, I want to hide these parts from mm-hmm. God. He knows everything. Yeah. And surface level, I know that. But there's almost like this subconscious mm-hmm. like oh, I don't want God to know those thoughts yeah oh gosh let me cover up those thoughts yeah. let me think something better to cover yeah. up those thoughts yeah. and so asking him not only to search me but then test me Lord mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to be tested yeah. and yeah. you know I don't know if I feel like it's it's, it's an in, it's an intimacy prayer yeah it's an intimacy vulnerability because for me to come up to you and say, like if I walked into your office and say, Mallory, it is horrible, horrible. Mm-hmm. Just my thoughts are horrible. Well, what are your thoughts? Oh, I can't tell you my thoughts. Mm-hmm. Just I need you to pray that these things, because I really want to hurt somebody. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I'm just saying, if we really want to hurt somebody, God already knows that. Mm-hmm. But for me to not even accept the vulnerability of you, my dear friend, that we've prayed over and we've shared a lot of stuff together, to not even being able to let you search me Mm -hmm. and me tell you my thoughts. Right. But now I want to say it to God. Yeah. So God, search me. No, we can't really. Yeah, arm's length. Arm's length, search me. Yes. But not intimacy, not really knowing my thoughts. And then when you realize, oh, my God, God knows my thoughts. And that's when I get on my knees. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, God. I said that. I thought it. I'm sorry. Help me to not do that. But Mm -hmm. again, that goes with that sorrow. Hurt people hurt people. Right. I have baggage. I have stuff. Mm -hmm. And there are people that push that button. And that button, when that button gets pushed, God knows that button. Yeah. But I don't want other people to know that button. Right. And when that button gets pushed, I go, Mm Mm-hmm. I snap, I judge, yes. I go after. And it's like going, okay, oh, search me, oh God, you know my thought. That maybe we need to change it. Search me, oh God, you know my heart. Yeah. You know my thoughts. Right. You know my offensive ways. You know my sorrow. You know this. Help me be better tomorrow than I am today. Yes. So that I can be closer to you. Right. And I think, <clears throat> like, looking at the scripture and, you know, search me. And we said, you know, when you think about the fact that God knows all your thoughts mm-hmm. and you think, oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm-hmm. What was I thinking the other day in traffic? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, gosh, you heard those. But then if you really dig deeper and think God knows my thoughts and he still loves me, he still loves you. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's because as a human even as much as we say, oh, when you have a child or when you mm-hmm. get married, it's mm-hmm. unconditional. Yeah. Yeah. We are human. We have limits. Yes. Yes. God has no limits. Mm-hmm. And it's unconditional. Mm-hmm. And so when it seems scary to say, God, test me. God, know my heart. Search me. Find these offensive things in me or these wicked things or sorrowful things in me. It's comforting to know that even when he does that and even when he finds those things and brings them to our attention so that we can work on mm-hmm. them, he still loves yes. us. Well, and he still loves David. Right. And so if you're not familiar with King David, I I encourage you to do a Bible search, um, a Google search of King David. Mm-hmm. He was not perfect. Mm-mm. He messed up and he went against a lot of the rules and the laws in Deuteronomy and Numbers. He went against them. But you constantly hear that his heart was after, after God. God. He was constantly after God. Mm-hmm. He was constantly trying to be better tomorrow than he was today because God is not asking us to be anywhere near perfect he knows the story he knows Mm -hmm. how it ends and again like we talked about last week or maybe it was the week before talking about um God working all things together Mm -hmm. for good and in the end that good being that we are all in glory with him it talks about it here too lead me along the path of everlasting life Mm -hmm. it's a path it's not Mm -hmm. a one-way street there's not a oh well lead me on the way and so so and here's and here's the thing this is Old Testament, the mm-hmm. way. Okay. Okay. Jesus, one of his characteristics, one of his names is the way. Mm-hmm. Christians, it was the way. Mm-hmm. So it just dawned on me as you said that, because this tells me to lead me in 
the way everlasting. Lead me into a relationship with my Savior mm -hmm. so that I know where I'm going. Yes, exactly. I think one of the things that I have really found as I have been, because I'm going to be honest with you, up until I even started this Bible recap plan, it was a couple days after, it was like January 4th or something. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll listen to it every single mm -hmm. day. I wasn't opening my Bible. I was letting it read to me and then I would hear the podcast. But I was always listening to it like as I got ready in the morning. My mind was at different mm -hmm. places. Oh, and yeah. It was like, uh -huh. I've done it for the day. Yep. Um, We're moms of young children and this yeah. is what we do. I got to get up. I got to get dressed. Mm -hmm. I got to get this done before the kids mm -hmm. get up. Da, 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 mm -hmm. Whatever it might be. So I wasn't really, I call it now Bible time. I wasn't spending Bible time. I was spending mm -hmm. listening time, mm -hmm. but not all the way listening. You weren't dwelling. I was not in dwelling. Word. That's a good word. Mm -hmm. And so when I finally decided that I was going to really dwell in the word, mm -hmm. sit down in the morning before I've had coffee into my makeup mm -hmm. and just make sure that is my number one yeah, priority. Yeah, yeah. Um, I found that I kind and I had been praying this, which is, I think is so cool mm -hmm. because I had been praying, God, there are parts of the word that bore me mm -hmm. and I want to not be bored. I want to be so excited mm -hmm about learning about you that I want to find things in my Bible and I want to be able to go, oh, that makes so much sense and make notes in my mm -hmm. Bible. And mm -hmm. I prayed that and all of a sudden I found this lady on YouTube and it made me really sit down and go, okay, I've got to find time during the day that I can sit down yeah. and really be in the word and still do my Bible recap, mm -hmm. but have my Bible in front of me and take notes and really look well, at things. And it's, and it centers us yes. because I can tell on those days when I haven't opened this mm -hmm. that that it's just, or I haven't had my prayer time with Jesus. It's just like, okay, I'm just off. Right. I'm off. Mm -hmm. And since we've been doing this podcast and you, because she, what she does is she texts me and either, either the night before or the morning of, hey, let's talk about this. And I love it because it doesn't give me a lot of time to get my head. Like you would for a sermon. For a sermon. I don't I don't analyze it and go back and do this and everything for a sermon. I was like, this is not a sermon. This is hard. Yeah. So I read it and I'm like going, okay, what what grabbed me? What mm -hmm. grabbed me? And wicked grabbed me. I was like, I'm not a wicked person. Right, right. So I'm like going, okay, what are the other translations? Because I don't like that word. Right. It's a different badness to I don't want it, mm -hmm. and so and that's what I love about this is I I this time gets me in my heart yes with my savior not in my head of having to understand mm -hmm. the Hebrew text and the right. all of this I don't want I don't always want that and that's what I do in the morning mm -hmm. in the morning I'm doing that right I think it's so cool mm -hmm. learning like oh this is the uh, fulfillment of the prophecy that was mm -hmm. said in this. And I mm -hmm. think that's so cool. But exactly like you said, I'm not, we're not doing a Bible study. We're not looking specifically at one book. No. I'm just picking a random verse and we're going to take a mm -hmm. look at it and see. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it doesn't give us a whole lot of time to really prepare. And that's a good thing. Yeah. It allows us to have these conversations yeah. and bounce off of each mm -hmm. other. So this has been, as much as I was really like, oh, this mm -hmm. one's not going to be so yeah. great. Um, this has been a really, really good one today. So, so this is what I encourage you to do. Okay. And this is what I started doing this morning when I read it again, is really look at yourself. Mm -hmm. And maybe, and I, this just is an idea that just popped in my head right now, because I did this with Psalm 139, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. Mm -hmm. I had teenage, especially teenage girls, look in a mirror mm -hmm. and say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And until you see it on yourself. Mm -hmm. So maybe let, and I'm going to, and I'm going to do it this week. So I okay. encourage you to do it. I'm going to say this in a, to a mirror. Okay. Search me, oh God, know my thoughts. And if there's something in there that can't, that is wicked, that's offensive, help me to see it so that I am closer to you. Mm. So that's, maybe that's, that's what I'm going to do. And maybe we do that together and just see where God takes us on the next part of the journey. Okay. I think it's going to be a good journey. Okay. So we will see you next week for our next deep dive in the Bible. As always, if you have a scripture you'd like to chat about, let us know. We'd love to take a look at it. We're always, I'm one person, she's one person. So looking through and finding one or two verses mm -hmm. in this big old book, we'd love to look at the ones that you want to look at. So until next time, thank you guys so much. We'll see have you soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.